Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the daily love readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking at every sign. So every sign has their own spot in this video. If you do not wish to watch this whole video, you can go into the description box below. You will find a list of the zodiac signs in the order they are in in this video. All you have to do is click on the time next to the zodiac sign you wish to watch. YouTube will then jump you to that point in the video and you will not have to watch the whole video and you want to fast forward and look for which sign you would like. So keep in mind with that being said, please don't forget to check out your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign because not all messages will resonate with everyone out there. So to get a good overall messages, especially for dailies, it's great to check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus because sometimes you get uh, the same type of card. So just keep that in mind. And if you're cross watching for somebody else, definitely keep that in mind as well that you can check out their sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Cause I feel like sometimes people forget that as well when they're looking and they're cross watching. So just throwing that out there for if I have any cross watchers on here. Um, also keep in mind that the energies can be flipped. So for some of you, it may not be you that's feeling this way. It may be the person that you're dealing with and it's coming out so strongly within your energy. So please keep that in mind as we navigate through all of these readings. They're going to be short, but they're going to be um, whatever spirit has to tell us. It's going to be only love, but I'm not limiting it to love. So if I do feel like there's something coming out, work, finances, money situation i'll speak on it um friends family anything along those lines i'll speak on it but i am going to steer more towards romantic love situations so with that being said we're gonna start off with my earth signs oh keep in mind we have october mid-month love readings going out at the end of the week so definitely definitely subscribe now so you're on top of all of those releases if you are not already a subscriber. So we're going to start off with my Tauruses. Spirit for Taurus for October 12th. What's going on for my Tauruses? Ooh. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Spirit for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on for my Tauruses? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. All right. Let's see what your card is, Taurus. Okay, Taurus, we have love, the lovers, Gemini energy could be dealing with one. Why is my ring light doing this? All right, much better. Gemini energy coming through here, a reconciliation, a choice to be made in love. So definitely a decision time for my Taurus sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Let me move this ring light so it's not... All right, that's bright enough. So, Taurus, it looks as though you may want to reconcile with somebody. Somebody may be wanting to reconcile with you. Um, the lovers, in some cases, could be a choice between two people. For others of you, Tauruses, you could be choosing if you want to commit to somebody or not as well. Um, for a lot of you... It's a return of a past lover. So let's see what's going down. No matter what, Taurus, there's going to be a choice for you to make in love. And how you navigate this choice is going to be different for all of you. So definitely decision-making decision day for my Tauruses. So Spirit, can you please give me some cards for Taurus? Can you please clarify this for Taurus? Three clarifying cards for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 12th. Here we go, Taurus. All right, Taurus, we have the Six of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. All right, Taurus, so I do feel like... Eh, whew, Taurus, you may be getting... um a lot of attention 
We do have the Six of Wands here, Fire Energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, you're going to be receiving a lot of attention, a lot of appreciation, a lot of recognition. Um, it could be from multiple people. For some of you, it may just be from this one person that's returning into your energy that you very, very much like their attention. Very much like their attention. Um, we do have the Page of Pentacles as well. So Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person wants to restart with you. For others of you, Tauruses, you actually may be um, reconciling with a soul that you have not met in this lifetime yet with the lovers coming through. And I only say that because we have the Ace of Swords and we had the Page of Pentacles here. So for some of you, this is a past life relationship and you are reconciling with a soulmate that you have yet to meet and it is finally taking form in your 3D today or around today for sure. I feel like this is a victory for you. I feel like this is something that you've been waiting for, you've been hoping for, you've been manifesting and that's why I do feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, like with this Six of Wands, like this this attention, this appreciation, you've been working for this. You've been waiting for this. So a lot of you Tauruses, if this is not somebody coming back from the past, I definitely feel like, Taurus, this is... Actually, this could be three different things. So give me a second, Taurus. This could be somebody returning back from the past. They want to restart with you. They want to talk to you. New communication coming in. For a lot of you Tauruses, you're going to feel very victorious by hearing from this person. So they may have definitely hurt you in the past or caused you to feel um, conflict, anxiety, possible insecurity. So um, for others of you Tauruses, I feel like you could be meeting somebody that you have not met yet in this lifetime. And that's why we have this Ace of Swords here, the Sword of Truth, the Sword of Victory. You are finally going to be manifesting something new with the Page of Pentacles here in, the, in your 3D. And it's coming right from Spirit here with the Lover's card. You know, there's an angel there guiding um, this connection. So for others of you Tauruses, I'm just going to say... You may be getting proposed to because Six of Wands, you may be receiving a lot of appreciation and recognition from other people. So some people may be congratulating you, uh, especially with this Page of Pentacles. This is something in the 3D that has not been formed yet. So even if you are have been in a, com in a connection, have been in a commitment, this person proposing to you or you actually finalizing and getting married would be your start of building some more solid foundation for you both. And, you know, if you're getting proposed to, that's new communication. You know, that person never proposed to you before or uh, maybe they did and you said no and they tried again. I don't know. That may be for some of you Tauruses. But new communication coming through. Definitely communication that's going to get you very happy. Uh, I feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, I feel like you may be getting proposed to and you are receiving congratulations from people. For others of you Tauruses, I definitely feel like this is somebody that you haven't met yet, that you are going to be starting a new lesson with a soul connection in this lifetime. Or, you know, Taurus, this is a reconciliation for some of you and you're very happy to hear from this person. Very, very, very happy to hear from this person. I feel like this person really caused you to be insecure. That's why I'm feeling like a lot of you Tauruses are happy to hear from this person. Some of you Tauruses, you may have already even gotten your self-worth up. And you're just feeling on top of your game because they noticed it. So, Taurus, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you very soon. All right, so my Virgos, hello my Virgos for October 12th, for Virgo, October 12th, Spirit in their love lives, Spirit for my Virgos, October 12th, in their love lives, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Virgo in their love lives. All right, Virgo, we have... Clarity of belief. The Ace of Swords. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. All right. New communication coming in. A lot of communicating for my earth signs. All right. So definitely going to be receiving some clarity. Definitely going to be hearing from somebody. New communications coming in. More, Some truths are coming your way as well. You may want to reach out to somebody too. Let's see, Virgo. Can I please have some clarifiers for Virgo spirit? Can you please clarify this here for Virgo and their love lives for October 12th? All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on with this communication. The Empress. The Seven of Cups. And Judgment. Ooh, cool. Okay. Interesting. Virgo, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus or a water sign. You know, Virgo, I feel like you have options. I do. I feel like Virgo has options. And I feel like Spirit... Uh, I feel like these options may be confusing you a bit, or you may be confusing somebody else. I feel like for some of you Virgos, if you're resonating with having options, I feel like the person that you're connecting with feels like you have options with this Seven of Cups, Water Sign Energy. And I feel like this person may want you to make a final decision. Like, are you going to pick me or not? Um, Virgo, this may be totally vice versa. And you may be feeling like the other person has options. And you're like, look, you're either going to pick me or you can go be with all the other options that you have because I'm not an option. So... For some of you Virgos, that's definitely your situation either resonating to you or resonating to the other person. You may be confusing the heck out of somebody else and they just want to know what you want or who you want, Virgo. Or somebody may be confusing the hell out of you and you just want to know if they want you or not. You want a final decision to be made. For others of you Virgos, I definitely feel like if you're trying to get pregnant, you're very confused. You're very emotionally confused on if this is going to happen for you. You're waiting to hear word on if you could be pregnant, if you could get pregnant, something along those lines. Definitely new communication coming in about that. For others of you Virgos, I'm just going to say, you know, we have judgment here. I feel like somebody from the past could be hitting, uh, hitting you up, <laughs> writing to you here. With judgment, they may be returning. I feel like for some of you Virgos, you have really regained your abundance, your self-worth, your value. And I feel like this person may see that and it may cause them to be very confused because of how they treated you in the past. They may feel very confused of how to come your way. So for some of you Virgos, I feel like you're definitely dealing with somebody or somebody's in in contemplation mode of how they want to approach you because they want to return back into your energy. And I feel like they don't really know how to approach you right now, Virgo, because you've leveled up from where you were when they dealt with you. And they just don't know how to approach you. Do they want to come with a pentacle? Do they want to come with a, you know, like this Seven of Cups person? They have all these different tools to choose from, all these different ideas and options to choose from. So do I write to Virgo... As a friend, do I write to Virgo and ask for a second chance in love? Do I write to Virgo and just see how they're doing? This is what they're going through. Virgo, keep in mind, it could be totally vice versa. But they're going to make a choice with judgment on how to come to you. And they choose, um, I mean, granted, yes, they're going to choose communication. But they're going to choose to have more uh, communication on how you two can grow from this moment. Opposed to them just coming in like, I, I don't, I feel like this person's going to come uh, correct. And I feel like Virgo, you're giving them no choice but to come correct. For some of you, I definitely feel like this could be a friend for some of you Virgos that they see your worth, they see your value, and they may want to express to you that they feel like you are somebody that they could be with romantically and they're very confused on how to express this to you because some of you Virgos like I said you're hearing some truth you're hearing some clarity so for some of you Virgos you may have a friend around you 
that really is interested in you differently and they're very confused on how to express this towards you but they're they're gonna make a choice they are they are okay virgo thank you for being here thank you for watching i'll see you very very soon and let's get to my capricorns spirit for my capricorn spirit sun moon rising venus sign for my capricorns sun moon rising venus for october 12th for my capricorns spirit for capricorns and their love lives for october 12th capricorns and their love lives for october 12th all right capricorn we have control coming through a strength could be dealing with a Leo or somebody who has strong Leo in their chart. Doesn't have to be. I feel like Capricorn, you are controlling yourself possibly from love or you're just trying to tame the beast. Um, you know, Capricorn, if you are in a connection, you may be trying to not go too fast. If you are just dating around, you may just be trying to make sure that you're not putting yourself in a experience or situation that is going to kind of make you feel like you have to regain your courage and willpower. I feel like for a lot of you Capricorns, you may be being very careful. You may be dealing with somebody who is controlling themselves from you as well, Capricorn. So keep in mind, this could be coming through reverse. I'm going to read it as is for Capricorn, but I will try to um, help it make sense for some of you if I do feel like it could go the other way. But... Capricorn, I just feel like you're just taming the beast right now. You don't want to go too fast. Uh, you don't want to go too slow. You could be in a connection. You could be in a relationship. You could just be dating around. You could be single. And I just feel like, Capricorn, you're ju you've are you been through a lot. You've been through a lot of pain. You've been through a lot of hardship. And you're just, you're just trying to make sure that you don't put yourself in a situation that's going to cause you to have to pull back. And regain your control again. I mean, granted, sometimes, you know, sometimes you don't really have a choice of the situation that you're put in sometimes. But, Capricorn, I just feel like you're trying to be extra careful right now. So, let's get some cards for Capricorn for October 12th. Capricorn, keep in mind, somebody you're dealing with could be feeling very um, standoffish towards you with this card. Maybe controlling their energy from you. Taming the beast towards you. So let's see for Capricorn. Can I please have some clarifiers spirit for Capricorn for October 12th? What's going on for Capricorn in their love lives for October 12th? All right, Capricorn. We have the Eight of Wands, the World, and the Ten of Swords. Capricorn. Very interesting pair of cards. I feel like for some of you Capricorns, you may have just gone through an ending recently. Or you are in the process of closing out a cycle in your love life. Or just within you. And I feel like Capricorn, you have... It's very interesting, Capricorn. I feel like you have people interested in you with this Eight of Wands. Maybe, once again, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, it could just be one person that's interested in you as well. This is my conversation card. If for some reason, Capricorn, I feel like you're either awaiting communication or you are kind of going through a moment here. What the heck? Let me Let me clarify this here. It's like, a Capricorn, if you have not just gone through an ending, it's like you may think something is ended for you, but it's not ended. Uh, what the heck? Clarify this for my Capricorns. Clarify this here for Capricorn spirit. It's almost like through an ending or through a closing out. Because I feel like for some of you, this cycle has nothing to do with another person and everything to do with you, Capricorn, and of what you've been through and on the traumas and the insecurities you bring to new relationships. I feel like Spirit is saying, look, Capricorn, I know you want to... Okay, okay, I'm getting it. 
I'm going to still clarify for you, Capricorn. But for a lot of you, Capricorns, you're closing off to love because of what you have been through. Because of the betrayal. Because of the pain, trauma, and hurt you have been through. But Spirit, I feel like, is saying that you're actually, like, possibly missing things here. And Spirit wants you to start opening up more. Because the Ten of Swords, for me, like, this is a blessing, the Ten of Swords. Because the worst is over. Because the Nine, oh my gosh, the Seven, the Eight, and the Nine of Swords are just, like, the, not even, honestly, almost all the Sword energy is just, like, crappy to be in. So the Ten of Swords is just awesome because you're done with the Sword energy. It's like, yes, we're done. So, like, I feel like some of you Capricorns, it's like... Hey, like, I need you to understand that, like, not everybody's going to do you the same way you were done before. And if you don't open up yourself to new love or just a fresh new start, then you're going to, like, you're going to manifest the same thing to keep happening to you. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. For Capricorn for October 12th. Spirit, can I please have for Capricorn for October 12th? All right, Capricorn, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. There it is. I'm telling you, Capricorn, you need to turn around. This is what you're doing. Look at you. You're looking at the ending. You're looking at all the crap that happened to you. You're looking at all the bad thing that happened to you. When all you have to do is turn around and see that there's two cups standing up. Five of Cups, Water, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I have every... um. I have every sign here. Strong Leo, strong Libra, strong Taurus. Uh, yeah. But mostly every sign is here. It's like almost like a Capricorn. I feel like you have somebody interested in you. And, you know, I feel like Capricorn, you're interested in somebody else as well. With this Empress Eight of Wands energy, you actually may be in a connection, may be in an actual relationship with this person. So for some of you that are in a relationship, you got to let go of the past. Like either you're going to give this person another chance or you're not. You know, like, when when you give somebody another chance and you're like, all right, like, let's hope we can do better. But then you keep bringing up all the crap they used to did to you in the past when they're just trying to be better. Capricorn, that may be what you're doing. Or that may be what the other person's doing towards you. And y'all need to let it go. Because there's a lot of growth and potential in this connection. And I feel like, honestly, I do feel like, Capricorn, you are going to slowly but surely open up to the stability and reliability of your own energy because Capricorn this whole reading is don't let the past hold you back because some of you Capricorns are letting it hold you back and spirit is saying look Capricorn even if it's slow with this knight of pentacles I need you to open up because I feel like Capricorn there's somebody interested in you or there's somebody who's going to be interested in you but if you don't turn around you're gonna miss it you're going to miss it, Capricorn. So, and I feel like this person is very interested in offering you stability and reliability. And they look at you as being very abundant and very, eh, like, having a lot of potential for growth here. So, Capricorn, somebody's seeing it in you. So, Spirit wants you to start seeing it within yourself. Or vice versa, Capricorn, you may be trying to connect with somebody who doesn't see it within themselves. But you see it in them. Okay? Just keep that in mind. Thank you for being here, Capricorn. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you very soon. Okay. And next we're doing air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we're going to start with Gemini. Spirit, what's going on with Gemini's for October 12th? October 12th for Gemini. October 12th for the love lives of my Geminis. Sun, moon, rising, Venus is signs. Whoa. All right, Gemini, you ready? I think Spirit's ready. Here we go. Gemini, we have, ooh, the sacral chakra. Someone may be flirtating, flirtating, look at me, flirting, flirting with you, Gemini. Somebody may be complimenting you, praising you, recognizing you, giving you attention. Something is happening in your sacral. 
This is your intimacy sector. This is your passion. This is your creativity. So somebody's getting a renewed spark within them, Gemini. So some of you may be getting actually intimate, uh, possibly maybe for the first time with somebody. Who knows? Let's see what's coming true. So for my Geminis, what's going on with my Geminis and their love lives for October 12th? Sun, moon, rising, Venus for Gemini, October 12th. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, October 12th. Alright, Gemini, what's going on in your sacral chakra? The Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Alright, some of you Geminis may work with this person and they're interested in you and you may be new. You know, some of you Geminis, you may have felt that, you know, you felt like they were interested but you just didn't really know. Um, but they're about to make themselves known. I feel like definitely very, very strong indication that you work with this person with the three of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, for others of you, this could just be that somebody is finally wanting to work together with you. So it definitely could be that you are working together with somebody to re-spark the spark within this connection. Um, I do feel like for a lot of you Geminis, this could be new energy with this Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Someone, I'm telling you, somebody's going to be flirting with you. Somebody's going to be giving you that um, ego stroke. Honestly, I feel like that's what it is. Um, some of you Geminis with this Page of Cups, could be a water sign. We have the Ace of Wands, but it looks like for some of you Geminis, I do really feel like this could be new energy. This person may want to come together with you in a way that you are just not used to with this Three of Pentacles because this is actually working together and making things work in the 3D. So if you haven't been finding time for each other, I feel like this person is going to start finding time for you, Gemini, and you're going to feel in your sacral like that you're feeling... Like, I just feel like, Gemini, you're going to have a confidence boost for sure. Could be hearing from somebody through the internet as well. Because we do have the Three of Pentacles, which could be a third situation, third party situation. You could be meeting somebody from a friend. Somebody could be reaching out to you on the internet. Um, for some of you, somebody from somebody could be reaching out to you and they may be in another relationship. They may already be in a relationship and they're reaching out to you. Or you may be in another relationship, Gemini. Because we do have a third external energy here. So you could be doing something online with this person, having flirty conversations, meeting somebody on the internet, on a dating site. And they're very complimentive, very um, sweet. For others of you Geminis, I feel like if you're in a relationship, I feel like this the person that you're with or, you know, maybe you feeling this way too, they want to work together more. They want to bring more creativity and passion and love to this connection. And I feel like Gemini is really going to get your sacral chakra in a very warm-hearted um, place where you're just going to feel just, just really nice inside, Gemini. So no matter what, you're going to feel some sort of something inside. So, whatever that means for you, Gemini, there's definitely a passionate offer on the table. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, Gemini. I'll see you very soon. And to my Libras. Hello to my Libras. Oops, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 12th. Libra, hope you're having a wonderful birthday season. Wishing you a lot of birthday blessings, a lot of love sent your way. For my Libras, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in their love lives. For my Libras, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in love. For October 12th, what's going on for my Libras? Oh, that was a weird cut. All right, let's put them back for Libra. Here we go. Okay, Libra. Woohoo! This card actually flew out before. Just want to let you know I don't take flyers unless I'm supposed to. If they flip over, then I'm supposed to see them. 
Um, if they don't flip over, I'm not supposed to see them. Sometimes they look, sometimes I don't. Granted, this did fly out when I was shuffling for you, but um, and it did flip over, so I saw it, so that's how I know. Granted, the ace of pentacles, Libra, I'm throwing it out there. Some of you may be starting a new job. Some of you may be getting a new financial offer, a new offer of money somehow, some way, but strengthening bonds is here. I feel like somebody wants to see you, somebody wants to get together with you, somebody wants to level up with you in the romantic sector. So commitment may be on the table for some of you Libras. Um, for some of you Libras, if you are in a commitment already, this person may just want to level up with you. They may be, um, you know, giving you more plans like, hey, like, let's go do this. Let's go do that. You know, that's why I love this card is called strengthening bonds, because as you experience things with your partners within your connection, even things that you didn't expect you were going to experience, it, it, it does strengthen the bond that you two share. So there's going to be a moment to um, strengthen the bond that you're currently in. Or, you know, this could be totally new energy. It is an ace. So let's see, Spirit, for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Libra for October 12th in their love lives. Spirit for Libra. Could be dealing with an Earth sign there as well. Spirit for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their love lives for October 12th. Here we go. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on. We have the Hermit, the Seven of Wands, and Death. Okay, Libra, so I definitely feel like could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Virgo. Libra, I feel like you've been very, um, I feel like very self-reflective. I feel like you, um, some of you Libras may have been a bit standoffish towards love. Or if you're in a relationship, you two may have been in the house for a while and you're finally getting out there. So honestly, for my people who are in a relationship, you may be leveling up where you are going to be coming to the... Some of you, you know, I feel like if you're dating, I feel like they may want to commit to being boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't necessarily see like a full-on proposal here. But I do feel like if you are in a relationship or in a connection where you feel like you're close to being official, I feel like there's a good chance that this person is going to want to transform this connection and make it official. For others of you Libras who are in a connection, a committed relationship, I feel like you guys are tired of being in the house. Tired of being in the house with this hermit energy and the seven of wands. Because some of you, you really can't, don't have a choice because of the pandemic and because of certain things being at a restriction from you. But I do feel like things are going to change here with the death card. I feel like you guys are going to find a way to go out, go experience more things, go explore things. So for some of you in a relationship, I definitely feel like your partner or you, you guys are coming to some idea of how to get out, go out there, and just, just do things that aren't just sitting in the house. I really feel that way. And some of you Libras may be pleasantly surprised that your partner even came up with the idea like, hey, babe, we got to go out. We got to go do something because we can't sit in the house for too much longer we're gonna go crazy um for some of you libras i definitely feel like you have been in hermit mode virgo energy could be dealing with a virgo scorpio we have fire energy here as well you've been healing you've been healing from a lot you've been healing from the pain you have gone through in love you've been self-reflecting as well some of you you may have been a bit defensive towards the healing process or a bit defensive towards the fact that something is over and you have to heal from it. Because we do have death here coming through. So there may have been an ending here that you're a bit defensive over healing from. So I do feel like, you know, Libra, I'm going to clarify this. I feel like uh, for a lot of you Libras who are single, if you've been healing for quite some time, I feel like... There's going to be a transformation to this isolation and you're going to be receiving a offer from somebody that wants to see you. They want to get together with you. Honestly, it could be new or old. Energy. I'm going to get a clarify uh, here for my Libra spirit. Can you please clarify for October 12th? I'm going to get one clarifier because I want um, a specific energy to see if it what comes through. Spirit for Libra. 
Can you please clarify this once more? One card for Libra. And we have the chariot. Yeah, you're moving. So Libra, if you've been um, isolated, if you've been in solitude for quite some time, you are not going to be in solitude for quite longer. Um, you are definitely going to be receiving some sort of offer from somebody. Could be a cancer. Um, this person wants to move forward with you. So I do feel like, you know what, Libra singles or separated, it could be new or past energy that wants to move forward from you because some of you definitely have been self-isolating and hermit mode for quite some time, trying to heal what you have been through. But somebody has an offer for you, Libra. Somebody has an offer. They want to see you. They want to travel towards you. And like I said, for some of you Libras who are in a connection, you guys may be like finding somewhere to go. I really feel that way. Like some of you Libras who are in relationships, y'all tired of being in the house. Tired. You're like, let's go do something. Come on, let's go. Let's go. The, the chariot. Movement. Moving. Energy. Driving somewhere. I don't know. Taking a plane even. So Libras... If you've been isolated with your partner in the house or just isolated alone, um, I do feel like you're going to be around a lot more people and be hearing from more people as well because you have an offer on the table. So thank you, Libra. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you very, very soon. And to my Aquariuses, hello, hello, my Aquariuses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For October 12th, Spirit, for my Aquariuses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for October 12th, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what's going on for my Aquariuses for October 12th? All right, Aquarius, your card is the Hierophant coming out as Teach. Beautiful energy. Some of you may be super, super connecting with Spirit. Some of you may be in a marriage. Some of you may be actually leveling up to marriage um possibly even leveling up at work for some of you just throwing that out there i know it's a love reading some of you may be leveling up in love so going from boyfriend to boy boyfriend to boyfriend boyfriend to, yeah it could be boyfriend to boyfriend girlfriend and girlfriend whatever you do it could be from going to dating to let's make it official to official to let's be fiance fiance to actually being mar getting married so let's see what's going on here for my aquariuses if that doesn't resonate with any of you you may be full-on connecting with spirit spirit may be having some sort of insight for you on your love life so Keep your eyes open. Spirit may be giving you some signs here because Spirit's making themselves known here with the Teach Hierophant card. So Spirit, let's get some stuff from Aquariuses. Can you please clarify for Aquarius, for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 12th in their love lives. Thank you. All right, Aquarius. Um, could be dealing with a Taurus with that energy all right aqua let's see what's coming out the wheel of fortune the empress the two of pentacles all right aquarius so there's definitely going to be a change in events here for you in your love life that may be why the hierophant has come out I re honestly, Aquarius, you may be feeling this way. You may be going back and forth on whether you want to commit to somebody. Um, for others of you, Aquariuses, I do feel like with the Wheel of Fortune coming out, this is destiny. The wheel is spinning. Something is going to change. We also have the Hierophant here, card five. Fives indicate change. The Wheel of Fortune, card ten, reduces down to two fives. Change is coming to Aquarius's love life. But this change is going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of growth. Some of you may be waiting to get pregnant. Some of you may be, I really feel like some of you may be in a relationship or a connection where you two are trying to find balance between work and growing this partnership. Because we do have two of pentacles here, finding balance 
within this connection. Um, I feel like, okay, for a lot of you Aquariuses, it's either you are having trouble finding balance within this connection because of work and you are wanting to grow this connection, but you know, you have a higher level of authority to pertain to, to call on to, to, to give them your time. It could be work for others of you. The higher authority is spirit. And I feel like for some of you Aquariuses, you are actually so drawn into your spirituality, so drawn into enhancing your consciousness and becoming abundant spiritually, that it's kind of hard for you to make time for love. I'm really feeling that way for some of you Aquariuses. You may have gotten so much love from spirit that it's actually causing you conflict in your relationships because you may not be fully as invested as you were before. Because your spiritual journey is maybe not in alignment of either the person that you've been dating or just with the people that you've been meeting. So I feel like a lot of you Aquariuses, you may have multiple people to choose from and you're just not necessarily sure which route to take anyways because you're so focused on your abundance. Um, for others of you Aquariuses, if you are in a relationship, I feel like, like I said, work and growing this relationship is causing a factor and Spirit wants you to know that there is enough abundance to go around and you can make it work. You just have to put the energy into it. And for others of you Aquariuses, there may be a religious factor that's causing you and your person to not, like if it's not your spiritual journey that's causing you to not really be 110% full on in love, then I feel like it's either the re a religious factor or a family dynamic that is causing this connection to not fully find balance just yet. But Spirit wants you to know that there is a lot of abundance. There's a lot of potential for growth in this partnership. And I feel like Spirit wants you to find the balance and try your best uh, to do this. Very beautiful energy, Aquarius. Like coming from Spirit. But it's kind of like, I really feel like a lot of you Aquariuses... <clears throat> Could be strongly dealing with a Taurus. We have Libra as well with this Empress energy. I really feel like some of you Aquariuses are really, really drawn to your spiritual path. And it's kind of hard to make time for spirit and love. You may literally be teaching yourself. You may literally be looking up, studying spirit, studying your religion, or, you know, if you are connecting with somebody who comes from a very strong religious background, they may be like spending a lot of time with their family or their, that sort of thing, like their religion or wherever they reside to. And it's kind of hard for them to gain knowledge from their religion by also learning through 3D experiences as well. But Spirit is saying that Aquarius, whatever you're resonating with, you're capable with finding this balance. You just have to believe in yourself. And Spirit's going to give you that support to believe in you. Beautiful, Aquarius. Okay, thank you, Aquarius. I'll see you very soon. Um, here we go, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we're going to start with my Aries. Aries, let me get some water because you guys be getting me hyped. So let me get water before I start Aries. Okay. Aries. For October 12th. For my sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. For my Aries for October 12th and their love, life, spirit. What's going down for Aries? For October 12th in love. Thank you, Spirit. All right, Aries, here we go. We have the solar plexus chakra. Beautiful energy. 
you're finding your confidence, you're finding who you are, you're finding um, a, a lot of happiness and joy with the solar plexus as well. But this is that mantra to this card is the mantra, I can. So Aries, you are, you're really not letting anything stop you. I really feel like with this energy coming in the solar plexus, you're going for what you want. You're not letting you're not letting anything stand in your way, Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius. Ooh, sorry, I just said Aquarius. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius, Aries. You're not letting anything stand in your way. You're saying, "Look, I know what I'm capable of, and I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna go for it." And you can either join me or you can watch me. So let's see what's coming through to the solar plexus. Something may actually be giving you a confidence boost. So let's see, Spirit, for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. In their love lives for October 12th. For Aries, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. All right, Aries. We have the Knight of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, and we have the Chariot. All right, Aries, yeah, I feel like you're just out. You're out. You just do whatever you want. <laughs> for a lot of you, Aries, you're just... For a lot of you, Aries, you're enjoying the single life. I'm going to say that. I really do feel that way. You may be very standoffish towards even commitment right now. For a lot of you, Aries... Um, I feel like if you aren't enjoying the single life, you may be dealing with somebody who's all over the place or you feel as though they're enjoying the single life and you may be feeling a bit defensive towards their energy because they are so all over the place. But I do feel as though there is going to be victory with this person with the chariot cancer energy. There is going to be movement forward. So interesting. Interesting. You know, Aries, we're going to clarify. Spirit, can you clarify this whole thing for Aries? Because I feel like, Aries, if you're not the one that's, like, very wanting to be all over the place and dating and exploring your options, and you may be very defensive towards an energy who's wanting to come towards you, that you feel they're somebody who's a player. So, Aries, you may be very defensive towards somebody right now because you think that they're a player. You think that they got options. You think that they're all over the place. So let's clarify. All right, we have Seven of Swords, Magician, Three of Pentacles. All right, yeah. So Aquarius is, some of you actually may think this person's being all over the place because they actually are, or they have been in the past. So I do feel like a lot of you Aries are dealing with somebody that may have been um, a player. And I feel like you're still dealing with their energy. They may just be very action oriented, like all over the place. You know, they may lie about where they are with the Seven of Swords. It may not even be that they're doing something wrong. They just may not be somebody who is capable of being truthful. Um, so I feel like Aries, there is an imbalance or there wasn't an imbalance. And I feel like... You've just been dealing with either this one person who just has been pushing your freaking buttons or you've just been dealing with multiple people who are just like in and out energy and you're just like, look, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm going to sit in the magician energy and if y'all want to work that out with me, you can work it out with me. But if you still want to be all over the place, then go be all over the place and don't come back over here. I feel like that's what Aries, that's how you're feeling right now. Um, I feel like for a lot of you Aries, if you're single, 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 I feel like you're very standoffish right now because you don't want to, you don't want to deal with this kind of energy. You don't want to deal with the player, the cheater, the liar. So you're kind of being a little bit standoffish towards love and you're just sitting in this magician energy of like, I'm going to see, I'm going to see what I want to do. I'm going to see how I want to handle this. So... Um, I definitely feel like for some of you Aries, you are going to have somebody that is interested in you. And I'm just going to say some of you Aries may actually be defensive towards them because of this energy. 
that has messed with you in the past and you may actually be like self sabotaging it because you're letting past tra traumas dictate this person but for some of you Aries you are just like I don't even care if I miss out on a good person because I just I just I I'm not ready yet I want to regain my power and regain my strength and yeah, just some of you Aries are regaining your confidence within yourself and you may be getting people from the past returning back to you or this one annoying person who just keeps pushing your buttons or this is who you're healing from. But we do have the chariot with the three of pentacles. So I do see a lot of forward movement for you Aries and I do feel like the more you move forward within the more you are going to come to contact with people who are going to want to work together with you opposed to not necessarily giving you the benefit of the doubt of working together with them. You know, like I said, some you may be dealing with somebody who was lying about where they were when why couldn't you just tell me where you were so we could work through this so we can, you know, because sometimes I feel like people lie about where they are just because they don't want to tell you where they are because like they don't want you to be mad at them or something like that. And they're not even technically doing something wrong. Like they're not like cheating on you or they may just want to have had a, a night with friends. And it's like, well, why couldn't you have just been honest with me that you wanted to have a night with friends? Why did you have to lie? Why did you have to turn off your phone? It's like something along that lines. It's like Aries, the more you regain your confidence and sit in the energy that you don't attract this energy you are going to move forward and find more energy that wants to work together with you. Or this person will finally want to work together with you in more harmony because you're not thinking that you attract this energy. So for a lot of you Aries, you think you attract bad energy. Or you think this person that you're dealing with is going to continuously be this person that keeps pushing your buttons. So in your mind, you are manifesting it into the reality that you are dealing with. So spirit is saying, Aries, this is your moment. Get that solar plexus chakra to realize that you can create your own reality and you can create a more harmonious reality in your love life. Because man, Aries, I feel like you could be single, you could be separated, or you could be in a relationship with this energy. But there's going to be a lot more working together once you come to the conclusion that Aries, no, you don't attract bad people. You attract people who value your energy. You attract people who want to be in your energy in a genuine way. So once you get within that, once you get into that vibe within you, it will then manifest into your reality with this magician energy. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the magician. I look at this as Aries energy, uh, Gemini energy as well. I have almost everybody here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So thank you for being here, Aries. I'll see you very soon. And we're moving on to my Leos. Hello to my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus spirit. For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For October 12th in their love life for Leo. All right, Leo, let's see what's going on. We have, listen, oh, all right, Leo, this is the high priestess, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Pisces. Leo, you're trying to use your intuition, or the person that you're dealing with is trying to use your intuition. There could be some withdrawn energy right now. Leo, you may be feeling withdrawn from your person or this person may be withdrawing themselves from you. Um, I feel like with this energy, Leo, it's very important to listen <laughs> with that card. But in the case of listening to what somebody is t saying, but like reading, like listening between the lines, you know, like, you know, when they tell you to read between the lines, when you're reading a book, look for context clues, stuff like that. There's something that spirit is trying to make known to you. 
Um, Leo, you may actually be having a dream about your love life as well and your dreamlike state with that high priestess. Spirit is definitely trying to give you some intuitive insight on your love life. So let's see what it is. And let's see what spirit got going down. So, Leo, you may be feeling extremely intuitive. You may be feeling extremely connected to spirit. And in this moment, there is some sort of insight coming your way on your love life. So for my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, for my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus for October 12th, for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, Leo. We have the page of swords. The Nine of Cups. The Ace of Swords. All right. First of all, Leo, the intuitive insight you may be getting or you may have been feeling. Some of you need to hear this because some of you have probably been driving yourself crazy. Um, being like, why do I feel like this person is going to reach out to me? Why do I feel like this person is going to communicate with me? This is why. Page of Swords. This is also why the Ace of Swords. This is also why with the Nine of Cups. But we'll get to that. Um, Page of Swords. Somebody's watching you, Leo. Somebody's waiting. Somebody's um, maybe looking you up. This is the Creeper card in the tarot. They call this a stalker. Um, I call him the researcher. All right. I'm not going to give him a bad vibe, you know. Call him the researcher. And you know, when you do research things, you do look things up. So you may be looking up somebody. Somebody may be looking up you. But I am going to read it for as is for Leo. Honestly, I feel like somebody is observing you. Somebody's looking at you behind the scenes. They may be checking out your social media. They may be checking out your, um, they may be driving past your house. I mean, that's like an excessive message with this card but hey some people you don't have on social media and they have no choice so we do have the page of swords here leo somebody's watching you somebody's waiting i feel like somebody um i feel like you've been getting intuitive insights on somebody reaching out to you because of the fact that they are thinking about it so heavily as well um spirit has definitely been trying to give you that message for some of you leos you may have not even been um believing it you may have not believed your own intuition, some of you. But we do have the Nine of Cups, so you're definitely going to have a wish fulfillment with this communication coming in. This communication that is coming through is a wish fulfillment. So, you know, um, Leo, I have Aquarius, Gemini, Leo energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, strong Pisces with uh, the High Priestess as well. So, Leo, you're definitely going to be receiving a wish fulfillment. You're going to be hearing from somebody that you want to hear from. So, um, or you're going to be receiving a new communication that you want to hear from. I mean, that you want to hear. So, if you're in a relationship and you've just been waiting to hear um, maybe those three words, I love you, you may be hearing that. Um, your person may actually be researching and looking up, like, um, places to bring you uh, maybe even rings for some of you, maybe getting uh, proposed to, but for some, for a lot of you Leos, you are definitely going to be, uh, you know, I feel like this could be the person you're with, a past person, a new person, but this person's watching, this person's waiting. So we do also have the ace of swords. This is that full on new communication that's coming your way, Leo. You're going to be hearing some truth, some clarity. And I feel like that's why the Ace of Swords is coming through. You know, we have Listen coming through as the High Priestess. She is intuitive. She is picking up on the vibe. She's picking up on the frequency. You may have a dream of this person reaching out to you. And then it may happen in the physical. So please just keep that in mind that that definitely could happen. But with the Ace of Swords here, new communication coming in for my Leos, that is going to make you extremely happy. A very uh, full-on emotional fulfillment here. So, uh, you know, Leo, I really do feel like a lot of you may be hearing I love you or something along those lines. But for others of you, Leos, you've been waiting for this communication. You've been wishing for this communication. And Spirit has actually been giving you the intuitive insight of it. For others of you Leos, I just want to say the person that is going to give you this communication may have been 
withdrawn because they have been trying to pick up on your intuitive vibes, on your intuition to see if you was, were going to reach out. So for some of you Leos, I just want to say it could be vice versa, but I do really strongly feel like a lot of you Leos, this is resonating that full on way that the communication is coming towards you, but please take the roles as you are navigating through this reading. But Leo, definitely some communication that's going to make you very happy. And for some of you Leos, you already know what's going to happen, or you have already had some intuitive insights of this happening. So thank you for being here, Leo. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. So for my Sagittarius is spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus spirit for my Sagittarius is sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for October 12th in their love lives for Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. We have a control could be dealing with a Leo. Sagittarius may be controlling your energy, maybe taming the beast. You may be a bit too tempted by somebody's energy. Somebody may be a bit too tempted by you. But I definitely feel like Sagittarius, you're controlling yourself. You are regaining your strength, regaining your courage, regaining your willpower. You know, Sagittarius, you could have been hurt recently. You could have been, you could be healing from hurts as well. You may be healing within your relationship. You know, you and your partner may be healing the past. So let's see what's coming through for my Sagittarius is spirit, sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Sag, you may be feeling like your person that you're connecting with is um, controlling themselves from you. You may be feeling a little bit distant from them. So let's see, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. All right, Sag, we have the five of cups, the two of swords, the eight of wands. Yeah. All right. So Sagittarius, I definitely feel like you are feeling a bit disappointed in love. You know, somebody could be very much disappointed in you, Sagittarius. So please just keep all this in mind. The roles can be reversed. I'm going to read it as is for Sagittarius. Spirit wants you to change your focus. They want you to find the hope. They want you to find the faith. They want you to believe in your highest good and believe that anything and everything that has happened to you from this moment on and from this moment on all the way back to when you were born and all the other lifetimes have set you up to be where you are now. And that may be hard to hear for some of you, but it's supposed you're supposed to be where you are in this moment. And some of you are just refusing to see the hope in your love life. You're refusing to see that you are capable of having movement forward. You're refusing to see that you are capable of meeting new people. Anything. Whatever this means for you, Sagittarius, you are stuck on the past. You are stuck on the hurts. You're stuck on the disappointments. And it's like you're stuck on the expectations that weren't reached. It's like people had, you had expectations of people of how they should have treated you and they didn't live up to those expectations. And it's kind of like, you're like, well, if you can't live up to those expectations and I'm never going to find anything that's ever right for me ever. Um, so Sagittarius Spirit is definitely wanting to change your focus because we do have the eight of wands here. So there's definitely going to be energy around you. If there's not already energy around you that want, that is interested in you, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like Sagittarius, you're very disappointed from somebody or something. And it's actually um, causing you not to see what's directly in front of you. And this is the eight of wands, fast paced movement forward, success and growth. This is going to be multiple people that are interested in you. This is my conversation card. So, so some of you Sagittarius may, um, somebody may be trying to talk to you and you're just like not wanting to talk to them. You're like, well, you're not the person I want to talk to. So I'm not talking to you. And this person is actually very interested in you. I'm going to clarify Sagittarius. Can you clarify spirit for Sagittarius Sun, moon, rising Venus in their love life for October 12th? It's like, once you take off this blindfold, once you turn around, you'll see, there it is, you'll see, you'll see 
all that is capable for you, all that is waiting for you. But man, if you stay where you are and just staring at those three cups that fell over instead of those two cups, those two cups that could be a soulmate connection, then Sagittarius, it's just gonna, you're just gonna continuously deal with this sort of energy. So with the Ace of Cups coming through, new love, and I feel that way. I feel like there's multiple people, honestly. I just feel like for some of you Sagittariuses, you're stuck on somebody who hurt you, or you are just so traumatized from what you have been through that you don't want to let anybody new in. Or a lot of you Sagittarius, you're very stuck on this one person, and you're just not opening up to anybody new. And Spirit is saying, like, if you don't put down the block, then I can't bring you anything. And you never know. Like, what if you had to go through a couple new people to learn some lessons so you could have the person who disappointed you return back? But you're not seeing that because you don't want to let anybody else in. You don't want to learn any other new lessons. You don't want to go through any new situations. So I'm also going to say for you, Sagittarius, is this could be absolutely reversed. And somebody, you may be extremely interested in somebody, Sagittarius, and they're so stuck on the freaking past. But I do feel like there's a very good chance that they're going to put down this blindfold. They are going to put down those swords. They're going to turn around and see that that cup is behind them. Or Sagittarius, this is going to be you because you have new love coming your way. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the wands. Hey, a two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy with the Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups. But you got to look at the hope. You got to have faith here, Sag. So thank you for being here, Sagittarius. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye. All right. And last but not least, my water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Spirit for my Cancers. What's coming on for my Cancers? And their love life. Spirit for Cancer for October 12th. For my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Not everybody at the same time. Sorry. I just, like, have to do that in the beginning so I don't forget what signs I'm on. All right. Cancer. All right, Spirit, for Cancer, for October 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. That's what I was supposed to say. Not all the signs all over again. For Cancer, Spirit, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for October 12th, in their love lives. What's coming to Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. October 12th for their love lives. All right, Cancer. We have the devil. Cancer, this is Capricorn energy. Cancer, I feel as though you may be having a lot of fears and doubts, negative thoughts, codependent energy to your love life right now. Um, the more you have these, the more that they will manifest into your reality, Cancer. So please try to refrain um, from the negative thought spiral. Um, for others of you, Cancers, I definitely feel like you could be dealing with somebody. There's a lot of sexual attraction here. Um, it could be codependent sexual attraction as well. You know, sometimes, especially when the devil comes out with sexual attraction, it sometimes could be toxic. So let's see, Cancer. Um, for a lot of you, you're just having a, a very bad toxic mindset towards love, thinking the worst, preparing for the worst, and then ultimately manifesting the worst in your reality. So let's see here, Cancer, for my Cancer's spirit, for October 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for Cancer, for October 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's see. The Nine of Wands, Cancer. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. All right. So, Cancer, I feel like you're having a lot of fears and doubts over the, the amount of time something is taking to manifest into your reality. 
So for some of you Cancers, you may have a lot of fears and doubts over you finding love, specifically new and stable love for some of you Cancers. Um, I feel like Cancer, with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you, um, you have been through it, you know? Nine of Pentacles, I'm sorry, Nine of Wands. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See, he has like a little bandage on his head. Like, Cancer, you've been through it. You've been hurt. You've been really, really traumatized, conflicted, and just been going through it. And Spirit is wanting you to keep pushing, even though you're tired, even though you feel like you want to give up. Just take a moment to rest, but don't forget to keep moving on. I feel like some of you Cancers are waiting for something with this Seven of Pentacles. You may be waiting for somebody who has you blocked to reach out to you with this Nine of Pentacles. I mean, why do you say Nine of Pentacles? Um, Nine of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Some of you may be waiting for somebody to unblock you, waiting for somebody to put down a block and let you in a little bit more. So, Cancer, you may be connecting with somebody who's a bit standoffish and... They may be like kind of making you feel like you're blocked out from their energy. And that may be why you have a lot of fears and doubts just because of the way this person's being. Um, and I feel like Cancer, if this is not you feeling blocked from a person, then you just, you're just tired of all the crap you've been through in your love life. Um, so I have two stories here. First story is Cancer, you're tired. You're impatient and you're letting these thoughts spiral through your mind. Spirit is saying, Cancer, keep pushing. I have a reward for you. The Ace of Pentacles. You will be meeting new energy. You will be getting a new stable offer. Somebody's going to want to see you. Somebody's going to want to talk to you. Somebody's going to want to get together with you. Somebody is going to want to build something stable with you. So I do feel like for some of you Cancers, this could be a very new energy that you've been waiting for. You've been waiting for new energy, like really waiting. And you've been having a lot of fears and doubts over meeting somebody new. And Spirit, I feel like, is finally going to be bringing you that. And I feel like Spirit is also saying that, you know, Cancer, you got to get rid of this energy because it's almost like your heart is like in a cage like this. So... Second story for my Cancers, I really feel like you're waiting for somebody who has you blocked or you feel blocked from them. You're waiting for them to reach out to you or you've been waiting for quite some time for this person to reach out for, to you because the Seven of Pentacles could be waiting for a while. Um, for a lot of you, this person could have blocked you out for a long, long time. But Cancer, I feel like there's a very high possibility that this person is going to be reaching out to you. Um, I feel like this person's going to be wanting to see you. They're going to be wanting to start over. They may want to get together with you, hang out with you along those lines. I feel like a lot of you Cancers, um, you know, I feel like Cancer, even if you're resonating with meeting a new person, I feel like you're bringing the, the negative energy into the partnership where Spirit is saying you got to get rid of it. Don't think that every single person is going to do you like that one person did you. You have to have faith and love one more time and always one more time. For others of you Cancers, this person, like, okay, for the first story, Cancer, if you're single, 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 I feel like you're the toxic energy. For real. You're bringing the toxic energy within you. You're, like, just really thinking the worst, which is toxic. Sorry, I'm going to say it. For others of you Cancers, this person is the toxic energy. So for the second, for the first story, you're the toxic energy. For the second story, Cancer, the other person is toxic. Um, and you're waiting for them. They cause you a lot of fears, a lot of doubts. They cause you to have sleepless nights. They cause you to have like an overthinking thought spiral of negativity. And here they are. Here they are. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to say something to you. You've been waiting for this. You've been waiting impatiently for this cancer for sure 
So, nonetheless, somebody's here. Somebody's got an offer for you, Cancer. Definitely try to let go of those fears and those doubts, those negative thought processes. Because it's only going to ripple effect through your reality more. So, let me just plug this in so it doesn't die on your reading. Okay. And, yeah. So, Cancer... Definitely going to be hearing from somebody. Definitely going to be receiving some sort of offer. Um, keep in mind, this could be totally flipped, totally reversed. This could be resonating backwards. So, thank you for being here, Cancer. I'll see you very soon. All right, Scorpio for August. August. What am I saying? October. What a heck, August. Ay, ay, ay. October 12th for Scorpio. Scorpio's almost your season. Scorpio's season. So, Scorpio, for my Scorpios, October 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For my Scorpios, October 12th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For Scorpio, October 12th. All right, Scorpio, we have Heal. The star, beautiful energy, Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aquarius, doesn't have to be, but we do have the star card coming through as showing that you are going to be receiving new hope, new healing, and new abundance your way, so wish fulfillment for my Scorpios, so let's see here, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. Could be meeting new love. Um, a wish that you've been hoping for. Maybe somebody's returning back for you, Scorpio. So let's see here, Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for my Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Here we go. All right, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Wands. The Page of Swords and the Four of Swords. Double Healing Scorpio. So we have the Ace of Wands here, a passionate new beginning. Um, could be, I really feel like it could be a new, old, or um, if you're in a relationship, Scorpio, you could be resparking the spark within the connection, uh, maybe getting intimate. Um, this person actually may also be giving you a new idea of how you two can grow this relationship. Maybe you two are going to go on some sort of creative endeavor, possibly. Maybe you two um, are artists, or maybe you two are both into astrology. Something along those lines. I feel like, um, Scorpio, you could be meeting this person out as well. You could be adding each other on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever. I definitely feel like, Scorpio, this person is very attracted towards you. I feel like, Scorpio, you're healing as well with the Four of Swords. And I feel like for a lot of you, Scorpios... If this is a, you're in a relationship, I feel like this new passionate beginning is going to help heal this partnership and really help this relationship level up. For others of you Scorpios, I really also feel like you're already healing. You're going through the healing process and you have new energy that's interested in you for sure. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the Ace of Wands and I feel like this person is just very very interested in you they want to know what you're about they may be looking you up like I said they may have added you on Instagram or they may or you two may have um, or this person may be creeping on you on your Instagram your Facebook whatever um, they you may have seen them out like I said and they may have been looking at you from like across the bar across the room whatever Scorpio but somebody's very interested in you they think you look good and I feel like first a lot of you Scorpios this person um, is your wish fulfillment or they're looking at you as their wish fulfillment they're like oh my gosh where has Scorpio been all my life and I feel like Scorpio this passionate new beginning, if this is a new person, is going to help aid in your healing process. And for others of you Scorpios, this is going to help heal the connection that you are in. So you two can elevate together and come together better, healthier, and a lot more stable. And maybe the spark was just gone and you guys are re-sparking the spark. So... Thank you for being here, Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, strong Aquarius here as well, or a 
Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, but wish fulfillment coming my Scorpio's way while you're healing. Beautiful energy. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. I'll see you very soon. And last but not least for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 12th, Spirit for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 12th in their love lives for Pisces. All right, Pisces, we have lead. All right, the emperor, you are on top of your game. It could be dealing with a fire sign, specifically Aries. Um, could have Aries in your chart. Pisces, you're not playing around anymore. Um, you could also be connecting with somebody who is your divine counterpart. They may be coming through as very, a very mature energy. It doesn't have to be that they're a male or female. But with Emperor Energy, definitely um, strongly divinely guided union or divinely guided moments as well. So you're on top of your game here, Pisces. I feel like you want to lead your partnership. You may actually start taking the lead on your love life instead of sitting in the background waiting for people to come towards you. Um, Pisces, somebody actually may be taking the lead and coming towards you. So it could go both ways. So let's see for my Pisces spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Pisces for October 12th. For my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Pisces. For October 12th in their love lives. What's coming to Pisces? All right, Pisces, we have the Page of Swords. Hot card. The Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, what the... Um, y'all saw me shuffle. You literally got the same cards as Scorpio. It just is a little bit backwards. So some of you Pisces may be dealing with a Scorpio. So I feel like somebody's watching you. Someone's waiting. Um, definitely with that page of swords. I'm going to clarify this. Definitely with that page of swords. Um, you may be getting some intuitive insights while you're asleep as well, Pisces. Um, but with this Page of Swords, somebody's watching you, somebody's waiting, somebody wants to come towards you. We have the Four of Swords and we have um, Card Four as the Emperor, could be getting followed by Four Four. Those are your only numbers out. So it's an Ace and a Page and Four Four. So Pisces, the Fours are an indication to keep moving, keep pushing, and keep being determined to get things done. So for a lot of you Pisces, um, I do feel like somebody's watching you. They're waiting. They may be watching to see what you'll do. They may be watching you on the internet. They may be watching you on social media, creeping, seeing what you're up to. Definitely somebody's going to be reaching out to you here. A passionate new beginning. It's literally like the same reading as Scorpio. So if y'all are dealing with a Scorpio, what the? Very, very interesting. Because, I mean, Scorpio got the star. You got the emperor. Still, um... Um, granted, they both, you know, are two different things, but with the Emperor up there, it's kind of like you're still not playing around and you're still going for what you want or somebody's going for what they want. And you have a passionate new beginning on the horizon. You may be re-sparking the spark within your connection to heal this connection more. And that may be where you're taking the lead or the other person's taking the lead. Um, or like I said, you know, you could be meeting somebody online as well with that Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. So let's clarify Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 12th. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, ooh, almost everywhere, almost went everywhere. Okay, Spirit for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or strong Aries, Leo, Sag. So for Pisces, Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, we have the Nine of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person's watching. They're waiting. I feel like they may not want to make a move first. 
But someone's going to take the lead here. Ooh, you may be doing this to this person too, Pisces. You may be watching and waiting and not wanting to make a move first, and you may decide to take the lead. But we do have the Page of Pentacles clarifying the Ace of Wands. So this person is going to reach out to you. They're going to want to re-spark the spark, or you're in a relationship. And maybe, you know, some maybe you didn't want to be the first one to say I love you, or the other person didn't want to be the first one to say I love you, or you may be in a connection and you were waiting for this person to ask you to hang out. Or they've been waiting for you to ask them to hang out. And you are both just been mirroring each other. But guess what? Someone's going to say something. They're gonna, You're going to reach out. They're going to reach out. I really feel like it's them. Um, but I feel like do for some of you Pisces, it, it really could be you who's doing it. You may be taking the lead on this. But we have the Ace of Wands to the Page of Pentacles. They are going to want to grow with you. They are going to want to build with you. And I think they think you're very attractive. They think you look good. You may be dealing with somebody who is very mature. Like they, they may, like if it's a man, they may have like a beard with that emperor. They may be a boss. Um, they may have like a higher level of authority. Like as well, in Page of Pentacles here too, they may work with like construction or like land. Something along those lines. Um, or maybe some creative endeavor as well with the Ace of Wands. They may be very creative. They may be um, an artist, a painter, or something along those lines. But I feel like, Pisces, you are healing. And with this Knight of Wands, if this is new energy, I feel like, Pisces, this person is really going to get you to go out and explore and do more things. And if this is the person that you're dealing with already, I feel like there has been a, mo a moment of stagnancy between this connection, a moment of stagnancy between this relationship where things weren't moving very fast. And I feel like there's going to be more movement. There's going to be more action. There's going to be more passion. There's going to be more love, communication. So Pisces, definitely somebody's going to want to respark the spark, restart, uh, or somebody who's wanting to start building with you in general. I really feel like somebody's watching you and waiting, or this is you, Pisces, you're watching and waiting to see if they'll reach out, or you're doing this, but, or they're doing this, I'm sorry, but someone's going to do something here. And I love it how it came right on the lead, like all here. That's why I do, I mean, I, I, I'm going to do a reading as well, not a reading, but I'm going to do a video as well to show how I read. Because I read this way, but I also read this way. So, yeah. <sighs> um, so, Pisces, I have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy with the Page of Swords. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, so, I basically have everybody except for water. But you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. Doesn't mean you're not. So Pisces, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for being here and for watching. October mid-month love readings are going out at the end of the week. Um, starting possibly, probably Thursday. Maybe Wednesday, maybe. Um, and we have another two dailies going out as well. So I'll see you all then. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye now.